Welcome back to Marketing for Your Future. I am your host, David Benfield. On this show, we talk to digital marketing experts from across the country to help make you a digital marketing expert yourself. So joining me all the way from the left coast in Seattle, Washington is Melissa Reeves with Story Fruition. Melissa, how are you doing today? I am awesome. Thank you so much. How are you, David? I am very well, and I promise you it is our pleasure. So talk to me a little bit about Story Fruition. What is your company? What do you guys specialize in? Well, I am an executive storytelling coach. Um, I actually, my background was in ad tech for 20 years, and I was in enterprise sales, and I started moving into another direction of helping people in their presentations become better, more compelling speakers through the art form of storytelling. So I work with executives, CEOs. I help uh, a lot of marketers uh, who are on podcasts create more compelling conversations because they become really awesome, kick-ass storytellers. I love it. So it's like storytelling through narratives, right? Like, so it's like advertising through narratives. Exactly. So, yeah. So like, for instance, when I'm working with a lot of the founders, the first thing I notice is, is that their pitch decks are like loaded with data and left brain analytics kind of stuff. Their slides are really crowded and whatnot. And what I do is I kind of turn that problem solution model that you learn in business school and I've turned it over into a, a narrative. So we now use characters or the founder's story themselves to tell why they are getting up every single day to change the world with their entrepreneurial idea. And that's we do very it cool. The story. And I feel mm -hmm. like that connects with people so much more because as we are moving into like, uh, into, into, the realm of where people are really more interested in what a company's morals are and, and like, you know, at how they're affecting society as opposed to just like, Hey, I've got a great cheap deal. It's 10% off. Like no one cares anymore. Like I'll pay the 10% as long as you're not a horrible company. I mean, like, is that kind of where we're, is that kind of piggybacking that? Well, definitely. I mean, every company has values and it has its heart. And how do you tell that through a pie chart? No, you're going to throw that, through the narratives that you tell, through the stories that you connect with the audience to. So marketers, CEOs, the whole C-suite, they need to be able to be compelling presenters so that people are turning their heads towards them. And you can do that through the storytelling skill sets. I, I say it's an essential business skill to be a I, really compelling storyteller. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. And so so I've got to ask, like, that kind of leads me right into the next question of, what, like how how did this come about? Like what did you what did you see? What how, like what series of bad presentations did you did you watch or be privy to where you were like you had the aha moment of like oh my god we just got to start telling stories here this is boring the life out of me. So I'm standing in this conference room at the Seattle University's business plan competition and there was literally like 300 top investors and they were all there to watch the big new idea and the students had pretty good high stakes on the table. They had $10,000 that they could win and all the accolades if you win this competition. And as I'm standing there, that's where I was just watching student after student, presenter after presenter doing the same thing. It was problem. And then I hold up a slide and there was a ton of words on it. And then they'd say solution. That's us. And more graphs <laughs> and pie charts. And I'm like, <laughs> like this is like not, like guys like i've zoned out like five minutes ago and you started you know yeah. five minutes and 20 seconds ago so it's like <laughs> exactly so, so i turned right literally was standing next to the director and i'm like i can change this i can change this this is sales and marketing right and this is also acting they need to act a little bit better and that's when i realized that my sales my acting because i'm a professional improviser and i'm a storyteller too and my my marketing skills all were going to come to its own fruition, if you will. And that's when I started Story Fruition. That's so rad. So uh, <laughs> that kind of that kind of leads me into, in, into the next question as well. Very good job segueing both of these deals. This is wonderful. Uh, so uh, you were talking about, you know, you saw the younger folks, the students and things like that. Um, this next question goes for right to those folks. So uh, young professionals, uh, folks who are just getting into the business, if they're switching it up, what's, what's your, what's your, best piece of advice for those folks? Like what's the one thing that they have to hone in, hit, hone in on and with the minute we have left? Yeah, I would say, well, trust that your stories and your experiences on where and why and how you got to where you are matter and figure out how to tell them and share them 
and be proud to share them because they are what are going to bring people towards you. We don't buy products. We buy companies which are made up of people, which have products that we believe in. And so I think that really learn and respect other people's stories, listen to them because you're going to connect more. You're going to have stronger relationships because you are listening actively and you're sharing actively. And that's what storytelling brings. I love it. So and good luck. Rem- remember <laughs> that, remember that it's, it's, you know, it's a, a businesses or people you, you, like find the human, the humanity and all this stuff, right? Like, you got to remember exactly. everybody that's involved is, is a person just like you. So that's, that's a really great piece of advice. Melissa, thank you so much for being on the show. I, like I've said this before. I'll say it again. I mean, we could do this for 30 minutes, really, honestly. It was a very easy conversation. But unfortunately, I only have like five or six minutes of these segments. So thank you so very much for your time today. <laughs> thank you. And tell your stories. <laughs> you got it. Thank you so much. So if you'd like to learn more about Story Fruition and how they can help you create narratives for your clients, head to dailyadbrief.com. That's going to do it for us today on Marketing for Your Future. I'm your host, David Bitfield, and I will see you in the future.